everyone. Welcome. G'day. G'day, g'day, g'day. And uh, yeah, hello. Welcome. All my subscribers, non subscribers, trolls, bots, and yes, you lurkers alike. Yes, lurkers. Perhaps there's some lurkers who might pay attention to this. Okay. Gossip is like a secret ca craving. We say we don't like it, but when it's within reach, we almost can't resist it. We get a sudden appetite to know what we don't know about somebody else. Why is it so hard to stop? Proverbs 18.8 says, The words of gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to a man's inmost parts. No, you might think not me. I'm not sharing the dirty details of a person's life just for fun. But gossip comes in many flavours and it involves in listening as well. Proverbs 17.4 notes, Wrongdoers eagerly listen to gossip. Liars pay close attention to slanders. Yikes. Types of gossip and what the Bible says. How do we know what's gossip and what's not gossip? We can find a number of Bible verses about gossip, especially in Proverbs. We can go and ask God to reveal it to us. James 1.5 tells us, If any of you lacks wisdom, he should go ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. Have any of the types of gossip below been tempting for you to resist lately? Come back here when you've done, if you can use it to help stop gossiping. Slander. It's defined as spreading rumours or lies about a person to cause damage purposely. The written form of it is libel. The Bible mentions slander countless times in its list like this one. But now you must rid yourselves of all such things as these. Anger, rage, malice, slander and filthy language from your lips. Colourly sins. 3.8 James 4.11 tells it straight. Brothers, do not slander one another. Dishing. Dishing the dirt basically means sharing the juicy info you've learned about someone. Maybe the intent isn't to directly cause damage, but by keeping the gossip alive, it continues to spread and taint the image of the person it's about. Proverbs 29.18 tells us about the gossip betrays a confidence, so avoid a man who talks too much. James 5.9 says, Don't grumble against each other, brothers, or you'll be judged. The judge is standing at the door. Rumours. You hear something and it's not good, and it's also not confirmed to be true, but you tell someone or ask someone else's help to get more info. The rumour mill turns and turns, the gossiping spreads. Proverbs 13.13 13 says, He who guards his lip and guards his, guards his life, but he who speaks rashly will come to ruin. Backbiting. It's a favour of go flavour of gossiping that involves speaking spiteful or slanderous words about another who is not present and can do nothing in defence. It's secretive and Bible actually mentions it by the name in Proverbs 25:23. The north wind brings forth the rain and backbiting tongue, ang angry looks. Also, whoever secretly sends slanders his neighbour him. Him I will destroy. No one who has a haughty look and an arrogant heart will I endure. Psalms 101.5 Not really joking jokes. I've seen a lot of these lately too. And it's got, it should stop, mate. Like, if you see someone saying it's a joke, like, it, call them out and say, hey, come on, that's not on. Have you ever, ever taken part, some part of the truth and turned it into a joke about someone that makes a other question their character. It also serves as a passageway to spread more gossip. Example, maybe he or she will actually get off the couch today long enough. Ba ha 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 ha. When the joking is harmful to another, it's mockery. How do you can you know you're a mocker? It's in the Bible, Proverbs 21, 24 says, Mockers are proud and haughty. They act with boldness and arrogance. And verse 9, 8 says, A mocker resents correction, and he will not consult the wise. In addition, Proverbs 22 says, Drive out the mocker, and out goes the strife. For quarrels and insults are ended. And Psalms 1, 1 starts out, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. Planting seeds, the Bible tells us we reap what we sow. With that in mind, this type of gossip is said in such a way 
to make the listener question or to assume something about the character of a person. For example, isn't it weird how he keeps staring at your girlfriend when you're not looking? James 3.5 tells us, Likewise, is a tongue a small part of the body, but it makes grand boast. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. A warning from the Bible, from Proverbs 16.28. A perverse man stirs up dis dissentation. And a gossip separates close friend. And the gossiping is separating people big time. It really is. It's sad. Whispering in uendendo. These subtle ins insultations can mislead others into thinking wrong thoughts, especially if the conclusions are based on gossipy hunch. Here's an example. It's interesting how he was out of town the night she was murdered. Proverbs 26.20 tells us, for a lack of wood, the fire goes out, and then there was no whisper, contention quietens down. And a warning from the Bible. What you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight, and what you have whispered in the ear in the inner rooms will be proclaimed for the roofs. Luke 12.3 Got this all go wrong gossip. You admit you probably got it wrong, but you spread it anyway because it's still touching on some points that could be true, or it would sound exciting if true. Either way, it usually starts out like this. I probably got it all wrong, but apparently... This is one of the most common types of gossip. We think we're just passing on the latest news. Could it hurt someone? Meh, maybe. But if we don't even know the person, does it matter? James 14, sa four, seven, sorry, James 4.17 says, Anyone then... Who know the good he ought to do and doesn't do it since. Thankfully, Jesus gave an, us an example to follow. There is nothing concealed that cannot be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight, what's said it whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Matt 10, 26, 27. How do I stop? After learning about the types of gossip, do you think it's about time to come clean? Take the next step in confessing and healing the desire to gossip. God bless you. And that is just amazing piece of work. I think I'm not directing this at anyone in particular, but yeah, I think it's fantastic. Anyway, if you're still here, thanks for watching. Raise your vibrations. Much love. Bye.